Hi everyone, Lewis here. I'm going for my second CRT pickup of the week. I found an ad in a local classified. It just said Sony CRT TV. No picture at all, no diagram, five euros. So I thought, I wrote to the guy and I said, hey, do you have a picture? And he's some old, old mate. And he's like, oh, it's in a small room. It's dark, I can't get your picture. And so I said, don't look, don't worry about it. He's 30 minutes away. I'll come and pick it up, it's fine. I'll take it off your hands. Um, he sent me a picture of like a similar model. Uh, it's 21 inch. It looks like a little bit older. I'm guessing early, I'm gonna say early uh, 90s, 92, something like that. Um, but hey, it was five euros, so let's go see what this TV's like. So I got the TV, old mate Dimitri. It's just like a TV that they had in their back room for like a million years and wanted to get rid of. I actually got the TV, then drove down the street a little bit to a more quiet place. I didn't want to like do it out the front of his house and like be yelling into my video. That's too much YouTuber for me. I need to be a little bit more private. But here's the TV. So, okay, 21 inch, looking nice down here. Open it up. So S video composite, mono in. As that's why I think it looks a little bit old if I would judge it from the stylings. Not too bad. Let's take a look around the back. And if we look at that, try and focus in on that serial number there. KV M21 5. 5.1 KP? Goddamn, Sonny loves to make these crazy serial numbers. So it's 21 inch uh, SCART input at the back as is standard here in Europe. So this is my second pickup for the week. I'm gonna take this home. I also have the other uh, 14 inch Trinitron that I picked up er earlier in the week. I'm having some issues with that. Uh, the geometry is a bit rough and also it's not responding to uh, remote commands. When I use the remote, and it is the proper remote on that 14 inch TV, uh, nothing shows up on the on-screen display. Like even if you hit volume, you can hear the volume going up and down, but nothing is displayed. Even if you hit menu, you certainly can't get into the service menu by hitting the five buttons to turn on the television. So I've got that TV to try and fix up. Steve from Retro Tech's giving me a couple tips. I'm certainly no, look, I'm no save on Pat. That's pretty clear to all, but I'll give that a go. And then we're also going to try and clean up that TV back at home. So let's get to that. So this is also the remote. Look, this is a crusty remote. Oh God. So I'm gonna to have to pull this bad boy apart, give it a deep clean. I mean, at least I have the original remote, but oh boy, I'm gonna need the decamination. We're gonna to have to test these things for COVID. Who knows what's contained in this thing? So here I am, I've made it home with the TV. I've set it up and things don't look too bad when you make a visual inspection of the TV. Now, yes, having a leffer in the afternoon, it's, the TV, the geometry of the TV actually doesn't look too bad. Things look quite fine. And if I zoom in, you can see on this border here, there's a bit of bowing that you can see. But besides that, I mean, the scrolling looks pretty good. So if we look at our Super Nintendo grid, it's a little bit off there. Hopefully that's something I'll just be able to fix with the service menu. Because it's, you know, we're here in Europe, it accepts SCART. Now I've been trying to look at the service manual. It's pretty hard to find the proper service manual. The serial number on the back of the television says KVM1, sorry, KVM2151KP. That looks like a P to me but I can find no record of a KVM2151KP on Google. Uh, I can find a K or I can find the KR. The R is corresponding to Russia. It looks like a P, it doesn't look like a K. I saw a 
another picture earlier of the K manual, which said 1992. So maybe I have absolutely picked it like a dirty nose. Uh, I think this TV comes from about 92 or so. Okay, we'll put the manual away. Look, there's not much really the manual can tell us. It's SCART, it's a Trinitron from 92. Uh, what do you want to know? What do you need to know? That's kind of all it is. I'm not even sure this is the, because I can't find the right manual. I can't tell if this is the right remote, but I'm not even sure this is era specific now. I think about it. It looks a little bit too new to be a remote from 92, but not sure. But let's take a closer look at the TV. Coming on the front here, I mean, it's in all right condition. Coming across the top there. Besides this big crack here, that's not so good. Bit of dust, but we're seeing composite S video inputs there. So this could be all right. I mean, look, it's a reasonable TV. It, I gotta say, this is probably not gonna be my go-to. It's not gonna be my everyday daily driver, but for five euros, it ain't bad. The next thing I'm gonna try is connecting up S video to this thing. I've had some luck finding the manual for the KV2151D. So those letters that are always on the end of Sony model numbers, they often refer to the region or the area. So the R is for Russia. I don't know what the KP stands for, but the D could be Deutschland. U is usually United Kingdom or L or I for Ireland. So you can fiddle around with those letters after the uh, number and that might help you to find that. I found the D service manual. It's given me a little bit more info, but not much. I'm not even sure whether this unit has a service menu or not. I've been trying with the remote, uh, the classic combinations you do, uh, I, five, menu up, power, but every time I hit five, it goes, turns on the television, which is telling me that the, the I plus button isn't hitting. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it doesn't, but look, I think it's all right. There's a little bit, this is not gonna be my daily driver, so I don't need to spend a lot of time. I mean, if it's not my daily driver, then what do I do with this? Put it in the storage room. It's probably not a TV that I would have picked up. Uh, I already have a bunch of 21 inches, but I was talking to the guy, as I said, and I said, yeah, I'll come and get it. I'll take it off your hands. So I'm not gonna invest a lot of time in it, but let's at least try S-Video. I have Antonio Villena's S-Video adapter. Let's plug that bad boy in. Then we are going to plug this into the monitor. Ooh, that's a bit iffy. Doesn't quite wanna go in. Oh, got it. What do we have here? Hmm, S video is not working so well. Okay, so I can't get S video to work yet, but composite is working. And you know, it's composite. What do you want? There's a bit of waviness going on there. It does Ugh, look a bit crap, but it's composite. It works cool. So no matter what I do, I can't get S video to work on this thing. I think it's just what it is. It's a five euro TV. It's been sitting in a guy's sauna for a long time, but hey, I went out to the countryside. I had an adventure. I got one more. I, the TV that I showed you in the short the other day, I've got a 14 inch Trinitron here. I've already plugged it in. I know it has some geometry issues. I'm gonna plug that in as well, and I'll give you a quick look at that too. So this is the other CRT I picked up this week. It's a 14 inch Trinitron from 1995. And uh, I really want a 14 inch. I like these size. Let's take a little tour around it. Look, it just looks cool. I like these 14 inch ones. I want something small, portable. It looks nice, but here's the thing. No matter what I do, I cannot get the menu to come up. Even if I, you can't hear, but the, there's hiss. The volume is going up and down. Nothing comes on the screen. Uh, I can switch. I'm getting nothing on the on-screen menu. It's really weird. This is the remote that's come with it. I can verify that this is the actual remote and I could turn it off with the power button, but turning it on, it doesn't want to turn on again. I can turn it on by pressing a channel and then switching to AV. There we are. Look a little bit, a little bit of dirt, but not too bad. I just, the geometry's way off. You can see how far the geometry's off there. If you can hear a high pitched buzzing, that's, all, that's just my shitty cable. Don't worry about that. Uh, I've been talking to Steve from Retrotech and he thinks I should maybe check some caps around the buttons. Maybe it's something to do with that. 
So today's video is a bit of a mishmash of me just heading out into the countryside, finding TVs. That's the game, and both of these TVs, honestly, not great. They've got issues. I am, as I said, I'm no save on Pat. I'm no Steve from RetroTech. I don't really know how to diagnose a lot of these deeper issues. Sure, I can get into a service menu. Sure, I can do some surface level stuff, but beyond that, it gets a little tricky. So now I have two new TVs. Uh, I'll just put them in my storage room and keep them for a rainy day. I know it makes Bob from Retro RGB fit better. That's all I care about, that Bob and his spiders are all right. Um, and I feel bad that, I feel bad in that I get some of these TVs here in, in Europe, we can still find them. And I see some of you guys, you're posting you're in America or Canada and you're finding it hard and you're paying 20, 50, 100 bucks, WTF, for screens. And here I'm sort of just getting them for five and going, nah, no good wear. I can imagine if you didn't have a CRTs around, if you didn't have a good supply, that first one, that'd be great. Even the second one, not so bad. If that's all you had, RGB already, it looks pretty good. You know, the geometry is a bit off, but once you start playing, you don't notice a little bit of bowing in the corner. So that's just how it is. If I could ship it off to you in another country for cheap, I would, I would have a mass migration of CRTs from Europe, but unfortunately I can't. So hey, Thanks for watching this video. I've got another one coming up tomorrow. We've got a big video games night happening here in Talat. I'm going to be there. So uh, yeah, I hope you like my CRT content. See you next time.